Evening guys and gals. Um, update on the um, tribute build for Veronica's Inc. Um, we're getting close to the finish line, I think, on this build. Um, it's really kind of a, this is the exciting part, but it's also the most nerve wracking part for me. So again, we're building this kit. Um, great kit. Love that kit. Um, every day that I build on it, it gets better. Um, can't find them anymore, but if I find another one, I'm going to, I'm going to build another one. I'm going to do it different. I'm going to build it. Um, so here's the interior. Um, got the interior complete. Um, got the old seat belts in there, which are from Gopher Racing. Um, door cards are trimmed out. Um, painted the dash body color. Um, you know, I, I really like that color. Um, I'm getting to where I just want to paint everything candy anymore. Um, everything's kind of detailed as best I can detail it, um, with my skill level. Um, engines detailed out, didn't wire it, didn't plumb it. I wanted to keep it box stock. Um, everything's washed out, um, with the Tamiya wash, um, batteries down in there, um, Everything on this side um, came out, just came out great. Um, the underneath side um, came out great. I put a little dry brushing in there on the on the X bracing there to kind of give it some sort of feel for it's been driven. Did the oil pan too. Oil pan um, kind of gnarled up on purpose. Um, the decals, um, I love the decals that they provide in this, in this kit, it's just awesome. Um, adds a really good real feel to the car. Um, the interior painted, uh, this is desert yeller, yeller, that's my heritage coming out, De desert yellow, um, and earth, flat earth from T Tumya, um, is what I'm told is how you pronounce it. Um, everything looks and fits like it should, which is really cool. I'm really excited about it. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about the car? Um, trimmed out the rims to match the body color. Um, got some work to do still on those, I see. Um, a little splotchy there in, in a couple spots. Um, so I'm going to have to... It's interesting how you get these on camera and they just look totally different. Um, but... That turned out pretty good. I couldn't ask for really anything better. Um, here's the body. The body hasn't been polished yet, but um, I did some wet sanding, but it's still got some work to do. Um, the um, bare metal foil is done underneath the clear. Um, the clear itself is 2K clear that I use. It's the same stuff that Dylan uses uh, over at NYS. Uh, modeling um the color so the color is this splash color um that's the base so that's their base for as you can see i used it all pretty much this is like the fourth car i got out of this um and i'm going to show you some colors here that they offer um uh, not that i'm a spokesperson for splash for splash paints but i i really like splash paints they're finicky to, to work with um and um, I was <clears throat> kind of messaging, uh, Fred Henry earlier this week. And I, I said, you know, I've just had about my fill of it cause I was frustrated. They're difficult to control, but that's the challenge with these paints. The, the colors that they offer are just really cool. In my opinion, um, these, this candy line, I've gotten hooked on their candy line and this is their violet. Um, <clears throat> the, trouble part of uh, splash is that you can't build up the paint too fast if you build up the paint too fast uh jay hart was telling me this on i had done a video um saying you know hey the the primer has to be built up well not only that but jay hart was 100 percent correct you cannot you can only do mist coats with with splash and those of you who worked with splash know that um you cannot you cannot have splash go on wet the minute you have splash go on wet it'll craze the plastic underneath. Um, so it's, 
um, it's, it's can be finicky. So, um, but I mean, just look at that color. Just awesome, awesome color. Um, but it turned out pretty good. Now, that is their violet candy. And I'm gonna go over here to my shelf and I'm gonna show you. These are all splash colors. Um, this is a root beer candy. This is their brandy wine candy. Um, this is a uh, 56 that I did, um, Pro Streeted. Um, you can see, and there, there's a reason I haven't really shown this model, but you can see there's tiger striping. So this is my learning curve. And you can also see right there, if the light hits, there's some crazing there. It's just a really finicky, difficult paint to work with. Um, if you, you got to get some experience. And unfortunately, you learn by trial and error. And you'll notice on this car, there's no, there's no crazing like that. And the reason there isn't is because I learned my lesson. Um, and that root beer is just phenomenal. That's a, that's a phenomenal color. So, I love this car. Love how it came out. That one was a tutorial that I did with Fred Henry. Um, other than that, you know, we, we should have just this car done. Um, <clears throat> taking off for a, a trip back to Indiana. Um, going to um, the southern tip of Indiana, right next to Kentucky, um, which is where I'm originally from. And um, going to visit some family. Um, I'll be back. And I'll have this uh, finished up and um, hope, hope Rick, that you uh, think it's worthy. And um, um, I'm sorry for your loss again. So, Veronica, this one's for you. And uh, everybody have a good night. Take care and appreciate you watching. Appreciate you commenting on my videos. And I appreciate everybody's feedback. I really do. It's all a learning process. Um, every time that I build a model, I am learning. So... Hope you guys have a good night.